Silwan is a powder keg, and not just at the city of David. Above ground, deep in the village, there's a seven-story building called Beit Yonatan, where Jews from another settler organization have barricaded themselves and will not leave despite Israel's Supreme Court order, they do so. They saw the camera, they don't open. Oh, really? They don't open the door. Few are allowed in the compound. To get in, we appeal to a pro-settler city councilman, Alicia Peleg, but even he was having a hard time. Beit Yonatan is an armed fortress surrounded by Palestinians. The government pays armed guards to protect it, and yes, it is ironic, the government guarding residents who are defying orders to leave. So why is it here? Why do that? Because we have the right to be here. Yep. It's our right to live in all parts of Jerusalem. The people themselves, the neighbors, have nothing against it. It's all politicians. Oh, come it's all... on. They don't want this big house. Okay. Eventually, we're oh, let in. The ground floor is basically a military camp. A plaque on the wall thanks an American donor for funding this place. We climb floor after floor past bullet holes in the windows. How many floors? Seven. Oh my God. On one floor, I meet Ephraim and Inbal and their two kids. They have no plans to leave despite the court order. If he is evicted, will he go quietly? I don't know. I don't think about it. But it's possible, right? It, sure. it, he knows it's possible. Still, we don't think about it. I ask them if they're afraid to be here. Sometimes a little, but more happy than scared. It's the most beautiful place on earth. It, it is almost a prison. Children can't play in the street. This is their playground on the roof. It's an armed camp here. Why would anybody even want to bring their children to live here? They believe that uh, it's a good quality of life for them. Maybe your home in the States is much nicer, but if you think they are suffering, you are mostly welcome to contribute uh, to the organization who try to improve their condition of living here. So what is your role, your function, in building places for Jews to live in East Jerusalem? I am the political arm of the people who want to live in East Jerusalem. Peleg wants to show me that Beit Yonatan is not isolated. We have here uh, 50 families live here. So you're sprawling uh, For another 60, 60 apartments. Buildings are going up everywhere in East Jerusalem. What you see is how the Clinton plan to divide the city is being rendered meaningless as more and more Jews move into Arab neighborhoods. Let me ask you if all this building that's going on right now is kind of a race, so you know, you're trying to get ahead of the peace talks. Jerusalem will not ever be uh, divided again. Jerusalem is one united capital of Israel.